Hi class, in lesson 7.5 you will learn about multiple representations of algebraic expressions. Learning targets for today, you will use verbal descriptions, diagrams, algebraic expressions, tables, and graphs to represent different problem situations. Please turn to page 502, problem 1, searching for patterns. Answer number 1, letters A and B with your group members. For number one, letter A, the perimeter for shape one is four units, shape two, eight units, and shape three, 12 units. For letter B, here is what the drawings should look like for shape four, five, and six. Check those over with your group members to make sure they're correct. Please answer number two and complete the table with your group members. When we complete the table for number two, we should know from letter A that shape one had a perimeter of four units, shape two had a perimeter of eight units, and shape three had a perimeter of 12 units. Shape four, 16 units, five, 20 units, and shape six, 24 units. Please turn to page 503, answer number three and number four with your group members. For number three, each number in the perimeter column is four times the shape number. So the perimeter for the seventh shape is going to be 28 units. For number four, hopefully you notice that the pattern in the table was to take the shape number and multiply it by four. 20 times four is going to give you 80. So the perimeter of the 20th shape is 80 units. Please answer number five and number six with your group members. For number five, let's let S represent the shape number. If you defined your variable with another letter, that's fine. The perimeter then would be four times S or four S. For number six, the 125th shape will have a perimeter of 500 units because 500 divided by four is equal to 125. Please turn to page 504, answer number 7 and number 8 with your group members. For number 7, this is what your graph should look like when you plot the points back from question 2 in your table. So please check that graph over with your group members. Number 8, it is not going to make sense to connect the points on this graph. The numbers on the x-axis represent the number of the shape and fractional numbers for shapes will not make sense in this problem situation. This problem situation was represented in several ways. A diagram of figures, a table of values, verbal description, an algebraic expression, and a graph. These are often called multiple representations of a problem situation. Please turn to page 505, problem 2, using tables of values. Please answer number 1, letters A through D, with your group members. For number 1, letter A, the cost is 6 times the number of items. Letter B, let N equal the number of items. Again, if you used another letter for your variable, that's fine. C, 6 times N, or 6N, is going to represent the total cost. And for letter D, 6 times 12 is 72, so 12 items would cost $72. Please turn to page 506, answer number 2 and number 3 with your group members. Here is what your graph should look like for number 2. Please check that over with your group. And for number 3, know the numbers on the x-axis are representing the number of items and fractional numbers of items do not make sense in this problem situation. Please turn to page 507, problem 3, using verbal descriptions. A water tank holds 100 gallons of water. The tank is leaking at the rate of 2 gallons a minute. Please answer number 1, letters A through D with your group members. 
For number one, letter A, if the leak continues for one minute, there will be 98 gallons left. B, 10 minutes, 80 gallons left. C, 34 minutes, 32 gallons left. And D, 25 minutes, 50 gallons left. Please answer number two and number three with your group members. For number two, you can multiply the number of minutes by two and then subtract that, subtract the product from 100. For number three, let's let T equal the number of minutes that the tank is leaking. Again, if you chose another letter for your variable, that's fine. The algebraic expression, 100 minus 2T. Please turn to page 508, answer number 4 and number 5 with your group members. For number 4, the tank is leaking at the rate of 2 gallons per minute, so in 50 minutes it will be empty. For number 5, here is what your table should look like with the gallons of water that are remaining in the tank based off of the number of minutes the tank is leaking. Please check over the table with your group to make sure that it is correct. Please answer number six and number seven with your group members. Make sure for number six that you are labeling your axes and also marking appropriate intervals on the graph. Here is what your graph should look like for number six. Please check this over with your group to make sure that you plotted your points correctly. For number seven, yes, the numbers on the x-axis now are representing time and fractional numbers for time do make sense in this problem situation. Please turn to page 509, problem 4, using graphs. This graph shows the distance a car is away from home in miles versus the time in minutes. Please answer number 1 and number 2 with your group members. For number one, completing the table, in the left column we have time in minutes, in the right column we have distance in miles. One minute, ten miles, three minutes, twelve miles, five minutes, fourteen miles, and eight minutes, seventeen miles. For number two, let's let t equal the time in minutes, and my algebraic expression is t plus nine for the distance from home. Please turn to page 510, answer number 3 and number 4 with your group members. For number 3, when we use our expression to calculate the distance, the car will be 29 miles from home after 20 minutes. And for number 4, yes, the numbers on the x-axis are representing time, and fractional numbers for time do make sense in this problem situation. This will conclude Lesson 7.5, Multiple Representations of Algebraic Expressions. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.